You want to make your 2024 budget, but you don't know where to start? Let me help you. I am not your financial advisor. I'm here to help you shape your Excel and learn the basics of budgeting so you can see if you can buy a new car at the end of the year or maybe not. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Dave, I'm a CPA and let's dive deep into Excel. My best friend ChatGPT will help us to do our budget. So we go into ChatGPT and then we will ask him a few questions. First of all, the prompt will be, hello, I want to make my 2024 budget. I have little to no knowledge in Microsoft Excel. I would require your help. Basically, we want ChatGPT to give us an Excel template. So we start from there and we don't start from scratch. So we make sure we don't forget anything and we have a solid template. So I want, I require you with your help, generate a simple budgeting template for 2024 and press enter. And then ChatGPT is giving me all of this. Here is the first result of what ChatGPT gives me. And I will ask him, I want a more detailed budget template. Also, please include up to December 2024 and more income categories and more expenses categories. And see, let's see what it gives me. Here we go. It now gives me 12 columns. I will ask ChatGPT, can you give me this information into a table format so I can copy paste it to Microsoft Excel? Click enter. Now that ChatGPT gave me my budget template, all I have to do is click on copy code here at the top, then go to Excel, go into the cell A1. Let's make it a little bit bigger for you guys. And then control V. Here we go. We have our data straight up in a format like this. Okay. We are going to delete here in cell B7, the sum that ChatGPT put and in B22 as well. We are going to double click here between the A and B so we see everything. What I want to do first is actually add a column between column A and B. I'm gonna insert here and I'm gonna add a few rows at the top. I'm gonna put my annual salary here, salary, and I'm gonna put income buffer and expense buffer, okay? and you're gonna understand. So I put 100% for the income buffer and 100% for the expense buffer and my annual salary, let's put 50,000, okay? I have a salary of $50,000. After that, you will only have to change the salary if salary changed during the year. So I added a column between column A and B and we're gonna call it monthly dollar, okay? And we're gonna make this a little bit bigger we can delete this row here and here we go so we have a monthly salary there's 12 months i take my 50,000 and i divide it by 12 here we go and let's say we have 2000 of freelance income and a thousand of investment return and 500 of other income i will do equal sum here and then i will take all my income sources and i will take the lower right corner of the cell and i drag it to the end there boom here we go okay for our expense here we don't have to type the number again or we don't have to copy paste all we do is just equal and then we go select the, the cell b7 and then we press on f4 three times until the dollar signs is before the letter and then we drag our formula down and then we drag our formula to the right and then if we want to put the currency we just put, press on Control shift 4 to put some dollar signs and let's make it a little bit cleaner and here we go okay gonna put dollars everywhere boom once again perfect this way this is how we shape our budget and if our salary changes during the year let's say we have sixty thousand as you can see, it puts 5,000 everywhere. So you don't have to change all the cell, just one cell here at the top. I will hit Control Z to go back and then I put it in yellow. Here's my salary. So now we have our income that is almost done and what I want to do, I will do the sum 
of all of this here boom here we go and we're gonna make the budget a little bit nicer hit ctrl b and then put this in black and then put the text in white here we go we have a super great income and actually i want to make my totals in bold ctrl b once again and i'm gonna put it in blue okay so this way my totals are all blue and it looks a little bit cleaner so now i know during the year that i earned ninety two thousand dollars so that's fifty thousand plus forty two k in freelance income investment returns or other income okay and then we have our expense. What I can do is use ChatGPT to see if I forgot any expense, okay? I will just take these expense here. I will hit Control C and then I'll go back to ChatGPT and ask him, hello, I have these expenses in my budget, dot, and then we copy paste. Do you think I miss any other expenses? Question mark. And then he will tell me some answer. Here you go. Your list covers many common expense. Here are some additional expense categories you might want to consider depending on your situation. So you have taxes, you have professional development, you have pet care. So oh, let's say I forgot to budget my vacation. Super important, right? To stay healthy. So I'm just going to go here, click on total expense, right click, insert a row and then put vacation there. It's the same deal, I won't do it again, but as you can see, you go here, you put the monthly, your monthly rent is $2,000, and then you go there. F4 three times, and here we go. Now I filled all my expense, and I, what I can do actually is to calculate my total expense for the months. Actually, what I want to do is put the expense in negative number. So now I have my income in blue and my expense in red. Negative means cash flow negative, means a disbursement of money, and income is a positive revenue, so it is positive, so it is blue. So we have our net income here that is going to be calculated. So we take cell B11 plus total expense, we do a plus because it's a minus in here so it gives the net income i drag my formula and i can see that for the year i have a positive income of seventeen thousand six hundred dollars uh, be careful because you don't have your income taxes in this so this might be super wrong you don't earn fifty thousand dollars you earn fifty thousand times sixty percent if you pay forty percent of income taxes you can factor this in your budget you just add this here and you put income taxes and then you select your salary press f4 to lock the cells times minus 0.4 if it's 40 percent let's say and then you divide it by 12 here you go you have your income taxes and here you go what i will suggest is always put a higher income taxes percentage so you make sure you have buffers in your budget okay i mean i'm going to delete this income taxes line here we go. Now that we have our income and our expenses all set up in our budget template, it's time to adjust with some parameters. You remember at the top, I had an income buffer and an expense buffer. So what I want to do here is to play with these parameters to know, okay, how long do I have with my budget? Like, how can I stretch it? If I lose my job, if I lose some income streams, if I have more expense, what's going on? So what we're going to do is we are actually actually going to add the income buffer in my income here so we do times b2 and then we lock the cell with f4 and then we just apply it everywhere in my income equal and there we go equal a thousand and there we go equal 500 and times 100 percent so now what you can see is i have a 92k dollar income but what happened if i go at 80 percent of my income we have covid that comes up and we lose 20 percent of our revenues then here all of a sudden we have 74k revenue instead of 92k but what happens if i have a salary increase if it's 121 here we go so we can play with the budget and see where we stands 
basically we do the same with the expense i'm not going to do it here let's say our rent costs now 120 percent as you can see my rent cost me 24,000, but now we have increase of 20 percent next year might be a lot here we go we have 29k and my excel budget just adjust by itself super simple i'm going to put this back 100 percent. so you do the same for all the expense and then it's time to calculate our cash flow and what is our cash balance okay so i go back at the top i add cash at start and that's actually your bank statement amount that you put there okay so let's say i have twenty-five thousand in my bank statement pretty pretty rich right i put this in green and here we go so what we do here is we do the cash at start cash at end so here we select our cash at start and we put it there here we go equal and then the cash at the end is the cash at start plus the net income of the month and here we go the cash at start of the next month of the month of february actually is our cash at the end of the previous month and here we go and then we can just drag our formula to the right grab those two and drag it to the right as well and we can see that we have 42,000 here at the end of december but what happens if i have my income that goes to 50 percent and my expense that stay the same actually you can see that i have minus 3400 at the end of december so i don't have any more money you know so that's how the budget works and what i'll do actually is i will do conditional formatting on the net income line okay so what i'll do is i'll do a conditional formatting if the cell is greater than zero i will put it in green and if it's lower than zero i will put it in red so as you can see if i make money it's gonna be green if i lose money it's gonna be red so we're gonna put back our income at 100 percent boom it's green if i put back my income at 50 50 percent boom it's red i lose money so now you have a budget that makes some kind of sense just a quick sheet to manage your finance and you can actually play with these numbers here and go month by month if you want to be more precise peace